You're watching The Carmen and Butcher Show. My name is Miata Daphne Ifeogene. Do you recall in 2018, the Ecofest was launched here in Freetown, Sierra Leone. And in 2019, on the 30th of November, we're looking forward to an exciting event. Do you know who was behind all of this? We're sitting with him today in the studio and we're going to introduce him as Abu Bakar Toure Esquire. Because that's what we know him as. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the show. Thanks Hello, for joining Mieta. us. Hello, Thanks for having me. Great. Yeah, I'm excited to be on the Carmel and Butcher Show. You're a lawyer? Yeah. What prompted this? Um, I always say my answer is simple. It's passion. Okay. You know, before I became a lawyer, I used to sing. I used to rap back in school. Oh. So I had to choose between, you know, a career in law. I mean, obviously my parents could have I was just about to say. <laughs> you know, so I had to go to Fora Bay College to do, you know, my law degree. But then, you know, afterwards... Um, my passion is, you know, still there for music. I never gave up on that dream. I know maybe I might get asked that later on, you know, but a lot of people ask, how do you cope, you know, between the law? These are two, you know, different fields, but I'm like, if I love what I'm doing, you know, I leave my chambers, I go to the studio, I help. Ah, so songs. you are still practicing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need uh -huh. to get the bread. To yeah, oh yes, that's, that's where all of this, you know, that's, that's where I get the money to do most of this stuff. I mean, apart from you know, friends who also support. So when yeah. did the label start? So it's um, Kabaka Multimedia, Multimedia Entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah. Kabaka, where does that come from? Um, it means king. Actually, when we were back in school, I was like, you know, the best art student. And so I taught my colleagues back in school, my fellow students, how to, you know, memorize the church of us. So it's a poem. There's a, there was a poem called Stanley Meets Mutesa. You know, and um, it's, you know, those days, Uganda, so that's the way they call their king, Kabaka. All my friends who are really close to me, they have two names for me. They either say ABS, that's how I grew up. Because the Abubakar name is Abubakar Siddiq. But the Siddiq is actually silent because the title is a Muslim name. I'm a Christian actually, by the way. Oh, wow. But it's a Muslim name. My parents are Muslims. Okay. So I was named Abubakar Siddiq. Today. But the Siddiq, like I said, is the title. Okay. Meaning a man who is honest, like Al Siddiq. So you are an honest Yeah, person. I am. I believe so to a very large extent. How long has your label been in operation? Officially, the label was launched on the 28th of April, 2017. Okay. So we're like two and a half years old. Actually. Okay. So yeah. when you started, you had like quite a group of um, young, mm -hmm. um, aspiring um, artists. Mm -hmm. And it's also very good to see that most of these artists have moved on. What is the criteria for them to become part of your label? Well, it was simple. Apparently, like I said, I was a musician myself. So I listen. I believe my gift is to know a good sound. I can tell you this is going to be a hit, yeah. you know, from the sound, the production. I know what's work. Like, okay, this not. So, but I was, you know, about to set up a record label. And I'm like, you know, if you want to do something, you don't have to do it like the way others have been doing it. So definitely, I wasn't going to start like from scratch. So I was able to identify talent then. We, I started with six artists. So I mean, from the first six artists, I still have four of those who okay. are on the label. Okay. And I have an additional three who were not on the label when we started. Okay. Two of those who joined the label eventually, they won the um, AYV Cypher show. Okay. Like we have an MOU that whoever wins. So basically, it's a battle, it's a contest. So it's the best comes to KME. So oh. they aspire to actually come. They, they, yes, MIC. I mean, everybody knows and this. And that, that show takes place annually? Yes, annually. So it's a so competition. So what they need to do is to get part, take part in the competition. In the competition. If and they then, win, then if they, they, win, they automatically get, uh, you know, a record deal with us. Oh, so, so yes, and it's normally for a year. But like MIC, you know, it's been around much longer because it's now part of the team. Okay. We just got um, Loxpi who won the last uh cypher show ayv so he's also with us and we have i tribe then the original guys who started we have a uh, future k uh, rose crack twist and samza okay. obviously like you mentioned earlier we have two who moved on okay. you know we okay. have uh Mahmoud is no longer with kme okay. you know and bless obviously but like we look at producers from sierra leone you know we have producers from malawi ah. nigeria ghana so that's what one of the things i realized was the sound kind of is the same. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to change that. Like, you know, if imagine for every song you release, you're up against people like Whiskey, mm -hmm. like Davido. They have all the resources. Yeah. The world wants to hear their music. Yeah. So nobody will care about you if you're still back there. Yeah. So you have to do something different and we have to fight. 
So um, it's not a small fight. Sometimes the talent everybody knows you do your own and you leave the rest to God. I am not happy with the fact that we dance song to songs in Sierra Leone, foreign songs, songs from Uganda, you understand, songs from Guinea, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, you name it. And nobody's dancing to our songs in their country. But I think it's picking up. I mean, yeah, wow. I think it's also picking up because some of the artists that you did pull in, like Rose, like mm -hmm. you mentioned, mm -hmm. Mahmoude, mm -hmm. they have done very, very catchy tunes yes. that a lot of people know. Yeah. Then that brings me to asking you again about the two that left. So, oh. Mahmoude, I hear there's a bit of bad blood between both no, of them. No, actually. Let me, let me just say this. I normally really don't want to comment, but, um, you know, it's, it's simple. Like I said, if you feel you can do stuff, you know, by yourself, you don't need someone else to do it for you. So, but so I think he's, he's, he is his own manager. Now. Yes, he is. So, it's, it's good. And um, it, I, I feel it's the fact that nobody's saying anything virtually. Like, whatever it is, you know, sometimes there's a way people leave, you know, is different from others. When Bless wanted to leave, he also has now the, uh, the, the Bless way, you know, it's a record label. And he put out a statement. Uh, hey, I'm leaving. There's nothing wrong, you know. That we so are he didn't all the guys exactly. And That's the word. Well, I don't know about whether it's professional or unprofessional, but I'm saying I need to remember people, that I'm talking to a lawyer. So this is going to be hard for to catch you. But people, people got in his own side. Although yeah. they tried to frame it, we have a song right now, a collab song with Bless and one of the KME artists. And okay. He is actually on the lineup also for Echo Fest. So, oh, uh, is he? Yes, he is. And that's what you're doing? Yes, yes. Okay, you obviously, because of your relationship. Good. So why wouldn't you not try and mend whatever it is between you and Matt Woody and have him yes, come for I mean, Echo Fest you know, as well? Like, like, like I said, it's always different. It's the way you relate with people. Okay. okay? I believe that you have a discretion. You understand? That's, that's what a CEO does. The discretion... You, you, you have so many people. There are so many acts. I now consider them, all of them, different acts who are not on my label. So I, I, will, I will look, for example, okay, should I get this or should I get famous? Because okay. you look at the genre of songs. Should I get this or should I get K-Man? So I have K-Man. I have famous. You understand? I want be Afro pop, so yeah. I think I have enough. Okay. You understand? And, and obviously, I could bless. So they all bless, have the same sound? Well, do all your artists tend to have the same sound? No, I mean, oh, like, um, they sing different. Craptis and Sam's are their rappers. Okay. So their genre is different okay. from people like Bless. Uh, it's the uncle of my, my children, you know, my biological kids. Oh, really? It's their biological uncle, yes. Okay. My ex wife, that's his brother. Ah. Yes. So, you know, on the family side. Oh, that's you know, good. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you can understand. But like I said, we are still family. Okay. You know, so since I have a choice, to choose i think that lies with me if you've moved on you're a ceo of your own company yeah. i don't go about saying oh you know ceo of fame entertainment is doing a show famous i did and he didn't call practice and samsa no mm -hmm. you understand i don't i don't complain or someone is doing a show at the stadium or or at Tugamini stadium and it's not you know it's their discretion uh, uh, it's not, yes it's the discretion yeah. whether they want rosé on the show you know I, I never complain i'm ceo for kme i am trying to boost um, entertainment in Sierra and as I was saying earlier, we have um, a mission. My mission is simple. Every time they take a Sierra Leonean act outside Sierra Leone, he's going there to perform for a Sierra Leonean crowd. Yes. Okay. He goes to England, he goes to America, 90% of those who will be there will be Sierra Leoneans. Okay? You bring David here, he's singing in Yoruba, and we're yeah. singing with him. <laughs> we, we don't even understand what he's saying. Don't. Exactly. Yeah. How do we get Africa? to see us, to hear from us. I said, we're not going to do like others. They are record labels on paper. They don't even have studios. Yeah. So first we, we built a studio, studio and then we started doing our own recordings. And then we, uh, we, we decided to do a formal launch. I went to Nigeria, met with the CEO of Hip TV. I invited, I was like, I, have you ever been to Sierra? And he said, no. I said, okay, look, you know, I would want you to come and see how beautiful Sierra Leone is. Don't worry, everything is covered. I'll bring, take you to Sierra Leone, see our beautiful beaches, and then let's do a documentary for Sierra Leone. So they came here, they covered the KME launch, you know, and went around. I was like, you guys, can you see? Can you see Tokyo? You see the mountains? There's nothing like this anywhere else in Africa. Because I was boastful. I know it's what we have, but the point is the visibility. Mm. You know, it doesn't matter how good the talent is. Yeah. If they don't see you, they don't know about you. Yeah. So when we came here, they did all of that. When they went back to Nigeria, 
and they were playing all this and it's still there in their archives you know you can see it on youtube that hit tv was there that was the first time they started playing our musicians songs on hit tv right, so you can watch on dstv and see hit tv playing our songs it was it was a great leap it's it's great what you've done so far everything that we do nowadays seems to be thrust through social media so is it possible that you would be looking at that angle i know that on a personal level in terms of your social media you're very active we're going to come to all the interesting things that you've been posting recently but then for your label as well and also for the artists yes you have like rose trying to do her own thing as well through social media but for the label itself do you not think you need to start concentrating on pushing a lot more in terms of the social media we obviously have the normal stuff you know the facebook page you know the instagram account and so on and trying to to push but then even the youtube all our songs were on youtube so someone hacked into our youtube account. yeah because i we were we googling all our videos all, we all our about videos, four videos well, those YouTube. are the ones yeah. we put after you know we're trying to get this out of the way and then we're definitely going to set up properly yes, and push I think so i i know you know like you rightly said i mean i don't have too many followers but i mean it would have been good if it were for example the kabaka multimedia page that had you know at least ten thousand followers you know and people see what we post they you know they, they look at it but it's just the engagement is a little bit low and we are going to get and you know obviously if you're talking to some of these people you talk to an artist they're like hey let me get your handle let me get this they want to see and i mean and you also know the problem the difficulties that even if you get it you don't get the views that you want except you sponsor those pages even when people look at it they don't they won't just like it you know it's 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 something completely but we are getting there so for me like Let's i said keep at it because yeah, I mean, we have yeah, the same challenges yeah, yeah, yeah. you know in trying to get our youtube mm -hmm. subscribers and that's why we'll have like giveaways or other offers but it's something you just have to be very consistent mm -hmm. with you know and um but i think that you're doing a fantastic job thank you you know thank so you. what but what you need to do is just push it you know a yeah. lot harder yeah. you know so. Can't give up like i said with yeah uh, i mean too deep now like yes. you've come you've come so a long far, way so yeah, yeah we've come and with what way. you're having with echo fest which mm -hmm. we're going to go to soon mm -hmm. but before we go to echo fest mm -hmm. you said something about working with your um ex-wife's brother mm -hmm. so that means that obviously you have a very good relationship with your ex-wife because i see you have a very strong yeah, relationship yeah. now with hawa yeah yeah and you're making a lot of noise about that which most <laughs> men don't do so that's very brave <laughs> well i mean you know you're in love I, well that's there's nothing more to say that's just it it's just love yeah. when did you guys meet well i first met her in 2017 we wanted to do a video for Kamiya eventually after that and it was not too long well i've never really gone into too much details but i'll just say you know that as, as early as probably early 2017 i'd already you know had no relationship with my wife i'm legally divorced you know so I, that's 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 that's, that's the legal <laughs> but um, i'm saying like it was all through the party it was after 2017 you know we knew there was you know we're not going to mend anymore you know the relationship was up so i i started seeing how uh, i think um late 2017. when did you sing mimi bangali then when did uh, you sing her then that was earlier that was earlier you sure yeah, that, yeah and there's a rumor that you guys are trying to get back together even though she's engaged oh wow that's you see that's why it's a rumor because i i know it's a good thing you're here to clarify but, do you want to just no, clarify before i wouldn't i, 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 I wouldn't trade her for anything in this world trust oh, me i wouldn't right. it's 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 a no-brainer that's that's i can't there's nothing so there's, we're hearing wedding bells soon <laughs> well i don't know well i mean you know i mean i have kids been married before so you know very well in as much as it won't be fair on the one i have now but i have to have a clear path like I said, I just got divorced this year. Most definitely, most I can tell anyone we are gonna get married one day. Wow! And you heard it here first <laughs> on Carmel and Butcher. <laughs> <laughs> I want to also ask you about Rose. She's one of your very, very good artists. She's currently in the UK with the um, yes, National yes, Tourist yes, Board. Yes, yes. I'm um, of Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. I hear she might be leaving your label. Is that true? You know, people always, but that's 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 entertainment. It's always the negative stuff that makes people excited. You know, like, oh, you know, this has left, and this, you understand, all this. So that's the wish. You know why? Because we're doing so well. You know, KME is leading, and they all know. Recently, I told someone, I said, like you, you, you were saying just now, they said, oh, Rosé wants to leave. So they were like, no, see, you see what we were telling you? I insinuating that Rosé might leave. So this is what happened. Rosé has a show 
a VVIP show. So if you are an artist in my record label and you want to do something, you have our support. Okay, you 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 want something unique. It's not the label's idea. Okay. It's yours. It's ours. Ah, okay. You understand? It's not the label's idea. That. Okay. You understand? It's hers. Mm. So when she found her sponsors, ah, you understand? Okay. She found the people who would support. You understand? Mm. So I am managing Rose's songs. Okay. Her music. Okay. Okay. So whatever and event she we are, the, There is an, a separate arrangement for that. But okay. there is a reason why. Okay. So if you see it, Sokota, you turn at the back. There's the KME tag there. Okay. All of, you understand. So, but they, people don't know. They, they, they just but, but it's not that. their business. I don't have to come and explain to people. This is how. But business. sometimes it's good that they also know. Yeah, but the point is, it's also social media. It's good business if you keep talking. Yeah. So you say this. Hey, this lady wants to leave, and in two weeks after you insinuated that there's like a new song, there is a new time. there's a new song from her on the record label. Mm. You understand? And you see all of us, we're doing our adverts, we're doing, and you're mm. still saying she's leaving. That is your wish. Yeah. Yes, because the reason why you would want that is because you want us to fail. Mm. And we don't have any appetite for failure. We awesome. just, we, we, you know, we're just going to keep pushing. Yeah. There's no, there's no room for failure because we know what we're doing. Yeah. And we're not oblivious of the fact that competition is heavy. Like I said, our mission is different. They just haven't seen that. Crap yeah. Twist and Sam's are there in Australia right now as we speak. They have a concert there on Friday and Saturday, okay. and they'll be back next week. Because you were in Australia conference. recently. No, you? I was in London. And we, for the very first time, sent representatives to the Sun Festival in Malawi. Like I said, our mission is to put Sierra Leone music out there. That's the very first time a Sierra Leone has performed at the, 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 the festival. So we had MIC, um, we had um, iTribe, and DJ Jesse. They were there. There were supposed to be four of them, but Luxpi couldn't travel because he fell ill ah, on the okay. day they were leaving. Okay. So and, and he couldn't recover on time. So those people represented us, and they they were back on Tuesday. So you see, we are putting our songs out there, and we know we're on a mission. It wouldn't take a day. We already have a song with one of Uganda's, you know, best, Waiki Benda, and we are yet to release that. We have a song with um, Morgan Heritage. We obviously have a song with Kwame Eugene. We have a song with Kiri. I establish contacts. I meet these people. I talk with the president of All African Music Awards, Afrima, who called me the other day. I was like, what do you want me to do? You know, I, I'm doing a video. It's been edited. It will be edited by Friday, and I'll send it over. We're endorsing You need to set up that KME social media page. You are doing so much work. Oh, and it's well, not well, no. So what's happening with EchoFest? We see all the pictures. We see all the artists <laughs> lined up. We're getting little, you know, <laughs> teasers here and there. And people want more. But people, do people know about this? Last year, we, we had more than 50,000 people at the stadium, I can tell you. Did that. you make money from that? Because no, you know, working no, at the stadium no, is always we, such a hassle. No, we didn't. But... That we had security. What lessons houses. have you learned? Exactly. So we had two major challenges last year. At the stadium, we had this, the problem of sound. So my partners, Crips International, they actually have probably the, the best sound in the sub region right now. Everything is is so going to be different in. this year. Okay. So this is what happened last year. We had a hundred kVA and a sixty kVA. The hundred kVA gave up. The sixty kVA couldn't power the entire system. We have two hundred brand new kVA generators. Hundred kVA each. Hundred on there. So one will be doing sure two. Will be fine. Two, two, two will, will be fine. fine. Trust me. And even if we need ten, we're gonna we're gonna get it. There's yeah, no way we are yeah. going to get this. That, but I just feel that that no, stadium is jinx. No, it's not. any show that's done there. Yeah, you know, always no, there, no, there are some shows that actually go well. Okay. You know, it's always with the number of people that come. Okay. When it's it's a full show, okay. like everywhere, you understand. Then a lot of people you try to stop. Don't come here. Some people are where they're not supposed to be. So are you um, using what kind of security detail? Well, we, we, we have different layers. So this is what we're going to do this year. And last year, we didn't do that. Yeah. We have private security. Yeah. We have a bouncer security company. Yeah. We have the police and the military. Okay. So last year, we had only the police and the military. This year, yeah. it's simple. We are now, we've now moved, like I said, it's the evolution. Okay. So we have handbands. Yeah. Okay, and they're going to be scanned. Okay. You come, we scan, you get in the stadium. Okay. You know, and there's no one that's supposed to be... With and really, with the handbands, once you take them off, you can't put them back you on. You can't. Right? Yeah. Because it's, 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 it's very strong. Yes, yes. You have to cut it. Yes. 
So, yeah. so within the precincts of the stadium, if you're there, you, everyone should have. We don't have enough handbands. We have more than enough handbands. Okay. There's a limit to what that stadium can take. So last year, if you did over fifty thousand, no, I am saying, and, and this is this is this in is, terms of the crowd, the capacity of the stadium itself that can seat people is around thirty-six to forty thousand. But remember, I'm talking about those who are on the pitch. The pitch can take more than 10,000 people, a lot more. What we have coming for Echo Fest, what's the lineup in terms of the artists? We have nine other nations, you know, coming here. So that's a 10 nation festival. Uh, yeah, we have um, three coming from, you know, the farther part of Africa, not around here. We have um, Diamond Platinum so is coming from Tanzania. We have Tay Green from Malawi. And we have the legendary Josie Chameleon from um, Uganda. And then we come to West Africa, Nigeria, Slim Case. Everybody knows, you know, Slim Case, the song Atravu and Odeo mm. is the one, I mean, who did it with Crap Christian and Samson. Oh, good. And then we have uh, Basket Mouth. He's the MC. He's the MC, you know, the host. And we come to Ghana, we have Kwame Eugene is coming back. We, I mean, a lot of people are saying, hey, bring Kwame back. So we're bringing him back. And Kitty also, because they're coming from a record label called Lynx. Okay. We've done two songs with their label. We have like a, a really good relationship with Lynx Entertainment in Ghana. So we are going to have two of their artists here, Kwame and Kitty. And then coming to, Ga to Guinea, we have Instinct Killers. They are really like the biggest right now okay. in terms of, you know, musically, they are, they are really trending. And then Senegal, we have Abiba. She's a lady. So this year, we actually, we have a lady from Senegal and a lady from Gambia. Sophia is coming from Gambia. Oh, so that's it's not good. All, all male. Yeah, 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 that's very good. So, I'm very happy. Yeah, yeah. And then we have uh, Kobazi from Liberia. It's quite good. Even when David went to Liberia, he did a song with him. He says, yeah, he's, he's, he's doing well. So within the last one year, have you been to all these countries to meet all these artists? I've been to quite a number of places. Not all of them. I've not been to... To Tanzania, not the further part, but I've been obviously to Nigeria, to Ghana, Gambia. Yeah. We did we did EcoFest in Gambia in April. But most importantly, what I want people to know is a lot of people haven't grasped the concept of EcoFest. Mm. What this is all about. I have told people everywhere in the world where they have the big entertainment platforms, you don't see Sierra an artists on that stage, on those stages. There's no one there. They don't call us to even like you know be opening acts. Mm. They don't. They don't know our music. They so you're changing so your narrative yes. and doing. So it that's why last year, year, last year for the very first time, we are Ghana meets Nigeria, which is like the biggest program between Ghana and Nigeria. All the big acts in Ghana, and Nigeria, Whiskey, Davido, Shatawale, you know, uh, uh, what's his name, Sakodi. They are all you know on that stage. But we went there for the first time last year. So it's something like that that I wanted to replicate here. So I have my partners in Ghana, Empire Entertainment. We decided to give it a try. So we're like, hey, we can have Ghana, Nigeria, and we have nations from the Mano River Basin. Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Liberia, those five nations. When we got our first flyer out for EcoFest, it was going to be five nations. And then we got calls from Senegal and Gambia, like, hey, we're not, oh, we're, we're going good. to be in this year. So nine Africa. countries out of the ECOWAS state. So no, we have seven countries, seven countries. Uh, six countries. Okay. And then we have two from East Africa and okay. one from South Africa. Okay. You know, Malawi is in the South Africa. Yes, Africa. that's true. Yeah. yeah. So uh, my point was, look, if they can't invite us out there to the big stages to see our talents, we can create our own stage. Nobody's stopping Love you. that. Love no that. No one's stopping you. So we don't have a platform like that in Guinea in Liberia, in Gambia, Senegal, no. Even Ghana, the only equivalent to EcoFest that they will have will be this December, the Afro Nation. Someone that's in Europe, you know, is bringing the Afro Nation to Ghana this year. So, but other than that, it was only the Ghana meets Niger, you know, program. So, but this year, it's going to be epic. If and by talking, next year, it's going to grow. Yeah, it, 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 it has yeah. to, you know, yeah. we're, we're, we're progressing. So, for me, it's good for artists, because imagine, Diamond has never been here. Uh, Josie Camillo has been to all, almost all African nations. He's never been here. Basketman has never performed in Sierra Leone. All of these people will be like their first time, except um, Kwame Eugene. Yeah, that's so, you, so, so imagine all of these people coming and they will get to see Diamond will be on stage. Famous will be on the same stage. Someone like Josie Camillo coming. Kman will be on that stage. We have Abiba. Star Zero will be on that stage. You have Sophia. Rosé will be on that stage. My, our very own Captain and Sandra, they will be on that stage. You have Tay Green from Malawi. You also have LAJ. is going to be on that stage. So imagine all of this is exposing our talents. 
We've been in the doldrums for too long. Uh, this is the time, it's the turning point. We're evolving, our music should grow. We're going international, we're almost there. We're not there yet, but we're almost there. And once it hits, you know, they'll start. They know all of these people doing all these shows, they know something is going down in Sierra Leone. It's not that they don't know, but they're not yet interested because we haven't proven that we can we can get there, you understand? So we we are gonna do that this year. And by next year, trust me, there won't be any 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 discussion. People won't have any apprehension because we are out to give them assurances that they are going to have a great show. It's I mean, look at it this way. It's having too much for less. Thirty thousand years for open stand. Okay? You're having all these acts. So and and imagine I tell people I don't have artists, nobody say okay, me is the best, they are pushing me. It's because we've proven it. We didn't say, oh, we are going to the stadium by ourselves. No, we are not bringing you 10, 11 acts from nine nations who will be on the stadium the same night. And let me don't forget, we have all the best comedians, Desmond Benya, Kindo Amani, Faculty, Yemata, all of them on the same night. Ogawa or Richie Obama, they'll be there to make people laugh. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show and giving us all this interesting information. You're doing a lot of work, you know, big up to you. I mean, we're really, really impressed with what you're doing. So thank you very much. Can't wait to be told. Yeah. Go out there and buy your tickets. We will be yeah. on the day, November 30th.